The field of play, be it turf or hardwood, is where highlights happen. But too often we forget that what matters about being a student athlete goes far beyond the game. Robert Upshaw visits Central Arkansas High Schools to show that it's not about what's on the scoreboard, but it's what your future has in store. Just one of Upshaw's destinations today is Hall, filling a lunch period with a conversation these kids won't find at a cafeteria table. You want two? We talk about anger, their identity. We talk about dating. We talk about porn and things that most people don't want to talk about, we talk about. I try to stay in realville, try to be very open and very honest. What are some of the things that we talked about that it would cost you down the road? Relationship. Your relationship. With who? Your family. Your family. Who else? The man upstairs. Your wife. No doubt. When we first got here, the kids wouldn't even look at me. It has absolutely changed where we interact with each other and we laugh and they trust me and, and we've built this kind of relationship and that's what's happening all over the place at these schools. Today after leaving Hall, I'll go to England and then I have an appointment at North Little Rock. Tomorrow we'll go to Sylvan Hills at 8, Park View at 11, and Baptist Preparatory at 12. And then in between there, when I get a call from anyone else, I'll go there. It won't cost them a dime if I can fit them into the schedule then I'll be there. Upshaw previously worked at the University of Arkansas, a fellowship of Christian athletes, and coached the Baptist Prep in Little Rock. He's now run Upshaw Ministries for two years, specializing in work with young men, including athletes. 101. 101. Are you looking at your notes? <laughs> no, I'm glad I ain't looking at my notes that time. I just want to be a, someone that can influence them and challenge them and tell them athletics is not all that there is about them. There's so much more and there's so much more for them to do later on in life than ball. It's important that they understand that their whole identity is not football. That that's not who they are. That's not what they were created for. Lessons that they can carry long after football's over and long after people are clapping for them and telling them how great that they are and help them mature into the men that they need to be and be effective leaders in their communities. What I'm finding out is that we do a great job of educating people and a great job of athletics and teaching them sports, but there's very few people teaching these guys how to become men. There's a greater demand on, on athletes, long hours of uh, participation, practices, and then games, then you're asked to do, do work. But oftentimes these guys are held up on a pedestal also, and they become more than what they think they are. That platform gives them opportunity to teach others because there's always little eyes watching them and it's hopefully it's helping them grow and mature in the young men that they're going to be down the road and help them to dream and have a vision about what they can become, to not let their past be their present, how they're going to provide, think about how they're going to protect, think about what it really means to be a family guy. If we can get them early, then hopefully they can be successful later on in life. Many local coaches already know Upshaw thanks to his work with their kids. But if you don't, you can find his contact info at UpshawMinistries.com. And I ask these things in Christ's name, amen. amen. All right, next week's verse. Nick Walters, Fox 16.